my absolute favorite moment here so far has been when one of our residents was reunited with her daughter, got a job, ended up getting promoted in that job to a shift manager, found her own apartment, and they still come back and see me. And every single time, her little daughter runs up to me, slams her arms around my legs and says, Hi, Nancy! That's my biggest accomplishment, is being part of that. The community impact is the same as my, the impact on me. It's, it's, it's so personal. It feels, uh, when I walk through the halls here, when I walk through the residence halls on the second and third floor, when I come into the building, the ladies always say hello to me. We give each other hugs. I mean, it's, it's very, very personal. It has a huge personal impact on me to know that these ladies not only are being taken care of with shelter, but they're also getting their souls fed. They know that we are their friends and that we care about what happens to them. That's huge. My name is Nancy Buchert. I am the Executive Director of the YWCA of Muncie. I've been a part of this organization now for two years. The primary function of the YWCA in the greater Muncie community is providing housing for women and women with children who are otherwise homeless, who are running away from a crisis situation and have nowhere else to go. One thing we discovered at the YWCA last year when we went through facilitated strategic planning and had a community-wide survey done with the assistance of the Classroom Ball State, which was awesome, uh, we discovered that our biggest problem, believe it or not, was community awareness of what we do here. Over 90% of the community had no idea that we were even a homeless shelter. So that's still today, a year later, our biggest problem. So as a result, when we are depending on community support to keep the lights on and to keep the doors open, and the community doesn't know what you're doing, that's the problem. We are not a federally funded organization. We are a community and grant funded organization. And as a result, we depend heavily on community support. As the community becomes more aware of what we're doing here and our funding opportunities increase, our two primary needs that we have in the facility are staffing and the facility itself. We're in a pretty old building here and it needs some help. But our primary problem is we have increased our services, we have increased the number of people that we serve, we have increased everything that we're doing to help the community here at least by 50%, if not more in the past two years, but we have not increased the number of staff members doing the work. So we really need to have the ability to hire more staff in order to be more efficient at what we do and in order to be able to help more people than we're already helping. The YWCA's reach is as far as a phone call could go. I'll put it that way. We have women staying with us right now who are from Florida, from Georgia, from Ohio, from Illinois, from Kentucky, and specifically from all eight surrounding counties, surrounding Delaware County. There is no homeless shelter for women in Blackford County, or in Jay County, or in Marion County, any of those areas, Henry County, all around us. We're it, other than if you consider a domestic violence shelter, absolutely, they're all over the place. And they need to be, don't get me wrong, they need to be. But a woman does not have to be a victim of domestic violence to find shelter in our facility. She simply needs to have to have a safe place to stay.